Welcome, welcome, welcome to this absolutely exciting reveal. I am so excited to be here today and be able to talk you through what we did to turn this ugly duckling property into a million dollar property. Now this has been a project that we've worked on for quite a while and I'm so glad that we can finally share the final look with you today. I'll walk you through and talk you through every thought process of every single element that we chose to put in this particular property and what it does in terms of aesthetic as well as adding value to the property. The journey of the renovation starts right here with these cab rows. Now if you had a look at our previous videos where we showed you the process, you'll be able to identify the elements that we've added so that you can see the complete transformation from beginning to end. Now, before we go in, let me tell you a bit more about this gate, which we also replaced from the old gate. It has this metallic finish, like a copper color that kind of feels antique. It matches very well with other elements that you'll see as we go through the process of the reveal. And it's very modern because it has this reflective finish where you can kind of see yourself it's not very clear but it makes it feel very new very classy and very modern and we thought it would fit in perfectly because we want to mix in some old world with new world to achieve a very beautiful finish the same cab rows we used outside follow into this absolutely vast compound we use three main colors for the cab rows the main color being the dark brown we have a light gray and a beige tone cabro. So this is the main entryway. I want you to pay close attention to the materials we chose to use because they're either mirrored or mimicked inside the house. Let's start off with the tiles we chose to use for the staircase. We have these beautiful light gray granite tiles that have white veins running right through them, which work as a great contrast to the cabros that we use, so it helps to announce this as the main entrance. We also added in these customized handrails that were painted black and gold to add a more rustic feel because we love a good modern feel for our home but we like to mix in those elements. These existed before, these pillars are actually a structural feature that was here when we found them but like what you commonly find in houses is that functional pillars tend to be left plain and boring and this is the grand entrance so we knew we had to do something to make it a bit more exciting so we added in these ridges and then painted two contrasting colors that are still in the cool tone family with the white at the base and at the top and the light gray color for the rest of the pillar so we knew we had to add in elements that will bring in that aesthetic value. That was the exact thought process when we designed this gypsum design with contrasting colors that match with the columns. exciting reveal. Now, for the floor of the foyer, we wanted it to feel very, very open. So we kept the tiles very big and in light colors. We went for this tile that is mostly white with a bit of gray veining and accentuated it with these darker gray tiles that have this white veining, similar to the ones that you would notice outside on the steps. This just helps to define the space as its own place because all the rooms around it, the floors are mainly wooden. So when you walk here, you really feel like it's a space of its own. So now you have all this open space right by the entry. What do you do with it? One more seating area couldn't hurt anybody. So you can add in chairs, have a bit of a table 
And in this case, it works perfectly because when you have a full house, it's better to have multiple seating areas so your guests can feel like they can have private conversations in separate parts of the house. You don't all have to be in the living room. Some could be over here. And we have multiple other seating areas that you'll get to see. So everybody has more than enough space to sit, relax, and enjoy. When you walk into the entrance, we wanted to make a statement, right? You'll notice the seating, but as you can see, right behind me, there's a fish tank. So this was here when we came in, this existed, but it was framed by darker colors, so it did not stand out. Now, when you walk in, it's so bright that it instantly catches your eye. We also finished off this wall by adding these darker cabinets down here that can be used to maybe store the fish food or anything else you might like. But also on top of the fish tank, we added this wall hanging that has this vintage train that pulls in that rustic theme that we have throughout the house. Now, to my right, we added this customized shelf. It's an open shelf, so there's no doors. We wanted this to act as a purely aesthetic element where you could display any trinkets that you may have because our client also enjoys a lot of travel so they may have things from the different countries they visit that they want to display and this would be the perfect place to have those items. Welcome to the living room. As you can see, this is a very large space. So we had to find a very creative way to separate the two sections. One to be the lounge area and the other to be the TV area. So the way we achieved this without the use of solid partitions is by a creative arrangement of furniture as well as the use of area rugs. When it came to the color selection of the rest of the furniture, this was kept in mind. So we went with this dark charcoal gray and this deep teal blue that works perfectly with the gold, as well as the white and black tones that can be found in the room. For the centerpiece, we chose this gold and glass table, which is very classy, very modern, and finished off the floor with this muted toned area rug that has the blue tones that kind of match in with the seats while still remaining neutral enough not to muddy up the area. So right behind me, we added in this feature wall. The thing about this wall, when we came in, it was empty and we knew we wanted the living room to feel very homely. Adding a feature like this can really introduce a lot of warmth into a space. We also added in these wooden planks that add texture while not being too distracting. We chose this dark warm color, which contrasts excellently with the wall color, but we also wanted it to be functional. So you can see we have these open shells where we have a lot of decorative pieces, but also you can open it up and maybe store some of your more private items. As you may have noticed, this wall has great symmetry. It has two identical windows on each side. So we thought it was such a pity that this wall was empty and wanted to accentuate that symmetry. And that's why we chose to have this here instead of anywhere else in the room. We also have another accent wall in this space and it's this one. We didn't want any monotony. On this feature wall, we chose to go with a glass finish that has this rose gold color so it didn't match too much with the other accent wall and it breaks up the two spaces very well. Now let's walk in over to the TV area. Now right between the two spaces, there's this big cabinet that we have in the exact same color as the other accent wall. We wanted to do this to join the two spaces and also Every woodwork that you see that we've used in the wall is customized. I don't know if you can notice, but this wall is slightly curved. So it was quite a challenge to build a cabinet that would perfectly fit in that curve. But we accomplished that and it fits in very well. This can be used to store maybe like cups or any, really anything that you may want to store in your living room. We wanted to make sure that it goes from the ceiling to the floor and in order to make it blend in, we finished the top off with that cornice that goes all around the ceiling. Now 
now this leads right over to the TV area. As you can see, the color scheme is pretty much the same as the lounge area, but instead of having the blue couches on that end, we had them here and put the gray ones on that side. This creates great color balance between the two spaces. The lounge area, we played around a bit more with the geometric shape, so we went for that honeycomb shaped coffee table. In this side, we wanted it to be a bit more simple, so we went for this square coffee table that has the same glass and gold finish. And for the main TV area, as I said, any woodwork in this space is customized, so is this. We chose to have this in white to make it stand out a bit more, and also we didn't want anything that would distract from the TV. To complete this back wall, we added this bidding detail with the two contrasting colors that you may have noticed through the house. It just adds a bit more of an interesting feel to this space and just looks good in general. So overall, we have been able to create a space that is so warm and cozy and welcoming. Every time I personally walk into this space, I feel like it's a place I could sit down for hours and just have a chat with my family. I think this is due to the color choices on the walls as well as the accent walls and the cabinetry that we've chosen, those really deep, dark wood colors, really make this place feel warm. We wanted to continue with that, so for the floor we knew we had to have these wood finished tiles throughout, but we didn't want it to be too dark because it would really make the space feel so much smaller. So we went with a very, very light color that still works well with the rest of the items. Just like all our other projects, there's a very keen attention to detail. So we added these ridges that we finished with the rough and tough finish. It just adds a bit of visual interest. We wanted it to be on the entrance of the living area from the inside. So we have it on both sides. So this space over here, which is, sits in the middle of the transition between the living area and the dining area, it was initially very empty. So we added the fireplace, which helps to regulate the temperature of the room as well as adding this very interesting mirror would just act as a statement piece. Welcome to the dining room of dreams. There's several rooms in this project that I've found myself thinking when I have my future home, I definitely want to have a room like this. This has to be the number one room in this whole entire project that I would definitely, definitely want in my house. The use of dark wood for the seats, to the table, to the floor, to this console table that is accompanied by this mirror is borderline genius. In the living area, I had mentioned that you don't want to have too many wood features that look too similar, it looked too monotonous. But in this room, the balance that they have managed to achieve is amazing, and you can see that. You can notice like all the wood has the grain showing, so it has this old world feel, but still looks very, very modern. So we put this here not just because we wanted something that we could just place there, but this wall was also very, very empty and we thought that would be a good use of space by having that console there where you could store maybe your table runners or table mats and it's very functional. You have this lovely mirror here to complete the whole space. So this dining room had a sort of petition that consisted of these columns that works to support the structure so we couldn't get rid of those but we wanted to make them more functional we chose to add in these shelves in between where you could display items while still like leaving the place very very open and on this end is another entryway that you can see directly from the main entrance if there's one thing that we feel the need to remedy is an empty wall in any way possible, whether it's the addition of a mirror or the addition of a wall hanging, as you can see here, this was another completely empty wall and we were like, we can't leave it like that. But we also didn't want something that's too overwhelming because the opposite wall already has so much going on. 
so we chose to go with this simple design that matches with a the theme that you may have noticed in here which is like a rustic theme you can see the finish of this is very antique it's actually very beautiful i think it works very well with the chandelier which we're not gonna like leave this room until we really focus on that this is absolutely gorgeous the waterfall detail the color is just absolutely stunning Now let's walk into the downstairs cloakroom, which is the kind of cloakroom you wish that everybody that you visited had because of the pure experience of it. We didn't want to leave the guests behind, so we wanted to make sure that they had the optimum experience when they had to use the bathroom when they visited. So join me, let's take a look. Straight from the entryway, you can tell that you're in for a very different experience because of the choice of tile. It's textured and has these brown tones to it which leads into this absolutely stunning cloakroom. Every fixture in this room is absolutely new. We brought them in, keeping in mind the design that we wanted to go for. Now like the toilet and the sink and you know towel holders, those things are all completely new. But also we wanted to include storage for any extra maybe tissues or you know cleaning agents that you might want in this room. We customized this very simple, storage unit that has open shelves on one side that could be used to store extra towels for wiping your hands and also included a clothes section where you could maybe put in your cleaning agents or extra tissue or whatever you need to store in this room. 